Hi guys, nice to talk to you again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how we're going to hit that punch shot. So it's a very versatile shot, very useful. Um, if you're playing in the wind and you want to lower your ball flight, definitely one. If you're trying to flight it under the branches of trees, very useful. A pin position that's up the very back of a green and you want to skip it up the green, definitely use it there. And even if you have kind of a poor line, maybe in an old divot or something, and you need to chop that out, punch shot again. So that's what we're gonna look at is uh, the ball flight that we want, uh, the impact conditions that will create it, and then obviously what we're going to do in our setup and swing to create that impact. So first things first, ball flight. Low, penetrating, shallow angle of descent, bounce and roll when it hits the turf. To create that, we need the club to be de-lofted and we need to hit down on that ball a bit. We need a, a steeper angle down into the ball. So how are we gonna do that? And it's really quite simple. There's only two keys to this. First one is, when we set up, we're going to set up with the ball further back in our stance. Simple as. That's going to do two things. It's going to help us deal off the club and it's going to help us get steeper down into the ball. Second thing we're going to do then is because we're getting steeper into the ball, hitting down on it more, we have to adjust our alignment because if we're hitting down more, that club is still traveling down and out as we make contact with the ball. So we need to adjust our alignment to turn our swing path back neutral again. So we're gonna open up and as we hit down now, that club is no longer traveling out to the right so much. Club face is squared up and we should be fine. So let's give it a go, see if we can hit it. I should be able to hit this. I was brought up on links. If I can't hit this one, I'm in trouble. I'm sorry I said that now before I hit. But here we go. So ball back in stance, stance aimed left. Everything else about the setup stays the same. Posture, hand position is still a little forward. Standard grip, everything else is good. And from here, we're gonna hit down and into the back of the ball. Not bad. We've lost it a little bit to the right, um, but certainly nothing that we worry about. Uh, lower dynamic loft, lower initial trajectory, lower height on it overall, shallow angle of attack into the green. I haven't lost any distance. So there are the keys. We've got to, we're gonna change in our setup. Ball position goes back. Stance becomes more left to allow for that club traveling out. And that creates the impact conditions we require. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you're finding it very useful within your own game. Do try it. You'll make deeper divots, but don't worry about that. Divots, they're not a bad thing. If you're enjoying the videos, please do subscribe. Just click on the button down below. Check out all my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and indeed my own website where you'll see all my blogs and that kind of stuff. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Thanks guys, take care.